Hey, it's your boy Sean. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Go. And today, I want to talk about Cadillac, and not just any Cadillacs, but Cadillac sports cars. And as some of you may know or may not know, Cadillac only has two cars at the moment: the CT5 and the CT4. Now, Cadillac's gonna unveil a new flagship all-electric car in the next coming years, and before they do that, I think they should do something a little more special and celebrate the anniversary of a certain sports car. Now, back in 2003, Cadillac unveiled the XLR, which was a Cadillac sports car based on a Corvette. Only problem was this car, it didn't have a Corvette engine. It had the shitty North Star engine, which was a complete bummer and that car or that engine has so many flaws that you know i can write a whole book about it but i'm not because i'm pretty lazy now um the ctsv actually had a corvette derived engine and i don't know why this xlr didn't also receive that treatment no no clue what cadillac was thinking at the moment when they came up with the idea of putting a north star in that car but they did now almost 20 years later i think they should revisit that car and make a model based on the new mid-engine corvette and actually put that corvette engine in that car now as some of you may tell I'm actually a pretty big fan of Cadillacs. I made a ton of videos about them. They're my most popular videos on the channel. So, yeah, I like running my mouth about Cadillac. And I do think for the 20th anniversary for the XLR, they should make a C8 Corvette version of that car. Now, this car can be more special than the C8 Corvette because... Cadillac's name holds more weight than Chevy's and people won't have an issue with paying that premium price for a Cadillac. But they cannot skimp out on features and the luxury because that was what people come to expect from a brand like Cadillac. So they will have to make the car a little more luxurious than the Corvette because if people wanted a car with less luxury, they get the Corvette. But we're trying to sell a Cadillac and a Cadillac sports car. And I do think that this car should be more capable than the Corvette. It's just what I think for the market and what people expect. They expect the Cadillac to outdo a Corvette, no problem. This is going to be a supercar bar none. Nothing hold back. There should be no base model, just a V, nothing else. And it should be limited production. I'm talking like 100 cars. And the price is always going to be up to them. I'm not in the market of setting prices for companies. And it is important for people to see this car as a halo car to get people interested in Cadillac's other sports sedans such as the CT5 Blackwing and the CTV Blackwing and the other V model cars that are available today. And this hypothetical car has to compete with other luxury brands like Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and not with Ford and, you know, Chevy and Dodge. It has to go above that and to be in that realm, to be a supercar and to be what people expect, especially when it comes to the luxury aspect. There can't be any cheap plastics and cheap leather and stuff of that nature. Everything has to be carbon fiber, Alcantara, and leather. It really does for the type of car that I'm envisioning in my mind. And I'm not going to step out of the realm and say it also has to be a plug-in hybrid or some craziness. No, it has to be, you know, just a step above or a couple steps above the C8 Corvette and be more capable than, uh, than that car and be more limited than that car. It just has to be something premium that people are going to go out and buy and not worry about their car losing value as soon as it comes off the lot. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. I know you understand this because we are car people. And people have been speculating about the XLR uh, revival since the C8's early years and that car's coming past. So I think it would be perfect for this car, the XLR, to come out 20 years after the original with a C8 Corvette under its skin. I think it's perfect, and I think 
for Cadillac that makes a lot of sense. I think you can sell a lot of sports sedans because if you see, um, the V series cars aren't really selling. Uh, sedans aren't really selling here in America, and if they want to pick that up, they got to make it more exciting. You got to give people something to look forward to, because if you can't get that Halo car, you can definitely get that car that's right up underneath it. And, uh, yeah, I think Cadillac really needs that Halo car right at the moment, get a real quick boost in sales. And that's really all I got to say about that. What do you guys think? Do you think in 2023 that Cadillac should come out with that XLR revival. I don't know what you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. Uh, do you think that's a possibility? Do you see that happening? Or do you think Cadillac's just going to say, no, nah, we're not doing that. We're going to do our own thing. You're going to get this electric car. And you're going to shut up. You're going to like it. Let me know in the comments. And with that said, I'd like to bring this video to a close. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. Got a lot of stuff for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. And with that said, I'll catch you later.